And we begin with that breaking news, a deadly helicopter crash happening in Palm River. The chopper just going down right in the middle of a busy street. We're told the propeller hit a car and killed the passenger inside. This all happening on 50th Street at Palm River Road in Hillsborough County. As we show you that location, that helicopter carried two people inside. It had engine failure. The Florida Highway Patrol says it hit a truck on the way down, killing the passenger inside that vehicle. Sheriff Chad Chronister is going to be giving us an update any minute now as we take you live to the scene here on the ground. And meanwhile, all lanes of 50th Street and Palm River Road are closed as troopers investigate. That's going to take a while. Tico crews have also been called out to the scene because the helicopter took down some wires there. Uh, it hit a telephone pole. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska there on the ground gathering new information. He's live at the scene right now with what else we're learning at this moment. Michael. Paul, this happened at a very busy time around 225, right in the middle of this intersection. People described seeing this helicopter go down, as you mentioned, hit a wooden power pole. People described hearing it sounds like gunshot, gunshots going off, shrapnel flying through the air. There's pieces of wood scattered across this area. Troopers and investigators are walking up and down the street, collecting evidence, trying to figure out exactly how far that shrapnel flew. As you mentioned, it clipped the power pole we're looking at right there in front of Bond Auto Sales in half, and you can see to the left where these Hillsborough County fire uh, uh, vehicles are. There is a truck on the other side of those vehicles. I got to walk around to the back of it, but we were told to come back to the front because the victim is still inside that truck, but substantial damage to the back windshield. It is uh, shattered out. The front of the windshield of that truck is shattered. People here witnessed it go down. They said that they saw the chopper going pretty low right here past the 7-Eleven in the middle of the street. And then one witness described seeing the chopper uh, described as a Robinson helicopter bounce a couple of times before taking out that pole, spinning a couple of more times. But the sound that they described was the sound of gunshots. So it's, it's amazing that more people weren't injured in this because people from all around this neighborhood were running out here to see exactly what happened. We know the sheriff is waiting to update us about exactly how all of this went down around 2.25 this afternoon. The two people in the chopper presumably are okay, but one victim uh, is still in the vehicle right now where first responders are collecting evidence and trying to remove uh, that person's body. So a sad scene out here today. We'll bring you the latest information as soon as we gather it here. We're live in the Palm River area of Tampa. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News. All right, Michael, thank you. I know you'll continue to work the scene there as we also want to find out what kind of helicopter this was and by all appearances this is a random tragic accident today this is a story we're going to stay on top of count on us to keep you updated all the breaking developments just go to our website right there abcactionnews.com or download our free mobile app